But our chairs, they have hydraulic on it, so it goes up and down. So with her, I'll just put it at a lower setting, and then I'll let her do things to my hair sometimes, but I only let her braid. And um, she's getting really, really good to be so young. So how do people, how do, is it just ladies, or is guys are involved too? Um, it's predominantly women, uh -huh. but I do have some guys that I service. How do they find a salon? How do ladies find a salon? Uh, for me, it's just driving by, word of mouth sometimes. Sometimes I'm in certain neighborhoods and I happen to catch my, uh, that salon name happens to catch my eye, then that's how we'll find it. But mo most, more than likely, is word of mouth is how people find salons. And so where is your salon? Uh, my salon is in Lancaster off East Avenue K and 6th Street East, Fairbell Salon, 616 East Avenue K. So there's uh, there's a gas station there on that old golf course. Yes, yeah, the old Fifth golf Street. course. That's usually how I tell people how to find it, is to look for the old golf course. So a little bit further down is the uh, it's a gas station, I think it's a Valero, and then a little further down is the liquor store. But I have this huge orange sign that says Sparrow Bell, so people will notice. How'd you get a way. huge sign? Uh, it was expensive. Ah. <laughs> but I wanted it to be eye-catching because the, so the, the complex sits back a little bit. Right. So I wanted it to draw the attention of anyone I that was looking by. And also, my salon name, Farabelle, means to make beautiful in French. Uh -huh. So that's exactly what we do there is we do beauty enhancement, which also is my tagline, beauty enhancement defined. And in that, uh, my mission is to teach people how to be beautiful from the inside out. Wow, such as? Such as um, eating healthy, making sure that you're loving on yourself, exercising, um, and just living life stress-free. And then also with the hairstyling, which is cosmetic, you know, you can change it up from the long weaves to the shortcuts to bobs to dreads to natural hair. It's like so fun. For me, hairstyling is an art. So I don't want people to get caught up into just this one look to say, this is who defines me because you define yourself in your own inner beauty. And so also with our grand opening that we're also planning at July 9th. July 9th, okay, exactly. Okay, thank you. So July 9th through the 12th, We'll have this weekend extravaganza where I will also be promoting, along with some of my very good friends that I'm excited are coming out to share this event with me. And we will be um, talking about the things that, um, and the issues that women and also girls face with beauty um, as far as our um, self-esteem, motivation, confidence, and also hair. Because then, you know, we could do anything to our hair. It's like, I'll cut my hair short every year and then I'll let it grow back. And then I'll wear the bobs, and then I'll wear the long weeds. And I haven't done dreads. I don't think I grew up to that just yet. Oh, come but... <laughs> on. Maybe next week. No. I don't know. Maybe I'll try the, the fake look, the fox locks thing they have now that is like a dread look, but without making your hair dreads. I may try that. I don't know. But I like to switch up my hair a lot because my hair does not define who I am. So I like to switch it up. It's fun. It's like, you know, the adrenaline that I get from the different styles. And also why I am still in the industry right now is because I'm more into the confidence booster and the conversations that I'm able to give these women when they come and sit in my chair. Because it's not just hairstyling like some people may think it is, yeah. but they'll come in and they'll say, oh, girl, I'm going through this, and this is going on in my life, and that's going on in my life. And then, you know, we're able to talk. I'll be able to give sound advice. And then also I can go back and tell them, like, listen, let's do your hair. Let's make up a new look. Go home, buy your new outfit, and just enjoy life. And then just that's that one set for me is why I love this industry. Because then they'll come back in the next couple of weeks, and they'll say, oh, I'm just, I got so many compliments. I feel so good about myself now that I came and I got my hair done. And it's just, <laughs> it goes on and on and on. <laughs> you know, you're pretty confident. You have a game plan. Yes. Why did you join the Chamber of Commerce? Because I am a foreigner to California. I'm originally from Indiana, and I don't know many people here. So I felt that me joining the Chamber would give me an opportunity to network with other business owners, to also um, establish myself, because I do want to build a positive rapport with the community. 
Um, I want to do community events, become involved, because I also have a passion for helping others out. If I can make a life-altering impact in someone's life, primarily girls, then I feel like I'm winning and I'm conquering and living out my purpose in life. You're the youngest of seven? The youngest of seven. Wow. Absolutely. <laughs> you got the DNA, didn't you? Yes, I did. That's yes, exciting. Did. Yes. So how long have you been a chamber member? Um, I just joined the chamber maybe a couple of weeks ago. It hasn't been long. Was it pretty difficult to join? No, it was easy. Was Anna pretty rough on you? No, she wasn't. She was really nice. Very welcoming. Really? Yes. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yes, she was. They have a lot of fun there at the chamber office. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so part of what the, the radio program does is it, it lets everybody tell their story. And then uh, in your case, you know, usually we're, we're uh, helping people and encouraging, but you've got plenty of encouragement. Yes, and so I do. It's an amazing story. Yes. And so when your friends come for the grand opening, they're going to get to watch this. Do you want yes. to say hello to them? Yes. Hi, everybody in the Midwest, in Texas, all my family, um, in Chicago, Gary, Indiana. That's where I'm from, believe it or not. Um, when I meet people, they say, oh, you're from uh, the Jacksons, where Michael Jackson is. Do you know Michael Jackson? And I'm like, uh, excuse me, I'm young. I don't know Michael uh. Jackson. <laughs> but I get that a lot. A lot of people say, wow. But um, Gary has his pros and cons. Um, growing up in Gary taught me how to survive. And that's one great thing that I can credit to that small town because it's survival of the fittest. So I have some excellent friends. I have my friend Alicia Williams that will be coming out to help me at my salon with the decor and setting up the um, grand opening events. I have also my friend Paris Harris that is coming out from Indiana. Wow. And he's a barber. <laughs> and I think he's done some celebrity work also. So he'll be here helping me out, anchor in my business and my taste of the Midwest into California. Who's invited to the, to the grand opening? Well, actually I'm gonna invite all my favorite clients I also want to open it up to the public, so I will be doing some advertising where we will um, put an ad on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter once I figure out how to work it. There you go. <laughs> tell me. When you figure it out, let me know. I'm still, I'm still fumbling through, but someone is going to tell me how to work uh, Instagram. I know how to do Instagram, but Twitter. I'll figure that out some kind of way. I'll ask my daughter. She probably knows that. So it's a good time here. Give us your 30-second intro to people who don't know about you. Okay. Um, my name is Shalonda Williams. I am the owner and CEO of Fairbell Salon, located in Lancaster at 616 East Avenue K. Um, I am a hair care specialist. I also do weaving. I do custom-made wigs. Oh, forgot to mention, I wrote a hair care book, Love the Hair You're In, which we will be um, displaying at the grand opening event. Wow. I'm going to check those wigs out. Chris, she's talking about both yours. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for being on. Thank you. Know, you. We'll, we'll see you on July the 9th. What time is the uh, ribbon cutting? It's at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Is that a Saturday? No, it's a Thursday. Thursday. Perfect. Open on Thursdays. Thanks for coming in. Okay, and thank you. You bet.